a wise man once said, part of the journey is the end. That wise man was 100% right. Every good journey has an ending. Now there is a grand conclusion to every beautiful story we have seen and heard, but this journey is not over. Not yet. To quote Ellie, we finished where we started. What's good, Podvengers? Mm. Welcome back to another episode of the Podtastic Four. Y'all like that intro? Y'all yeah. rocking with that intro? You know what I'm saying? But to be fair, it's... every story has an ending, not just the good ones. But, you know. Anyways. Was the bad ones go unfinished. <laughs> That's true. What happened Let Tron? it stay that way. <laughs> oh. Like, what no. is it? Like, what? So what happened to Tron? <laughs> R.A.P. Tron. Rip. Man. Nah. Rip. Well. You Anyways, it's it's your boy Blacksby, aka Tim's Duncan. And today <laughs> I have with me Ghostface Killer and uh Screamer. <laughs> no, say that right, pronounce it right. Yeah, say it S- say it S- how it's S- spelled. S S Screamer. Screamer. Yes. Yeah. Screamer. Screamer. Oh my goodness. That's me. Anyway, <laughs> anywho, <laughs> does mean. we are we are here to discuss the absolutely emotional finale of the first season of HBO's The Last of Us, plus a couple other projects that you may or may not know based off of our creative and chaotic names. But before we do all that, we need y'all to blow or smash that subscribe button. Y'all know the drill, so you do not miss out on the most entertaining podcast on the planet. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. So... The Last of Us episode nine. I think this is the first episode where we all have differing opinions. For like, this is the first time, you know, with uh, as season. far as The Last of Us goes, the entire season we've all been on the same page. Today, what's changed? Uh, we'll start with 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 S. Screamer, Gerardo. Um, I think you should go first because you have the most to say as far as you know. Dissenting yeah, opinions. A, uh, I wouldn't space, even say I have so the most to say. I don't know if I even know how to say what I what I think. But uh, I think it's an uh, unsafe space. To get, yeah, to get <laughs> to get started, I, I was I, I felt a little disappointed with the finale. Um, I I didn't go in with any. Well, I did go in with expectations. I guess I wanted it to be. First of all, it's too fucking short. I think we can all agree it's super rushed. Okay. Like. I, I like Fair. the Ellie, the Don't Ellie speak backstory. For me. Don't speak for me. I like I like the Ellie backstory <laughs> at the beginning. At the beginning, but I feel like it drags on, and then it just like condenses what little we have that episode, like even further. It just feels like so small, and I was disappointed with the runtime of that for sure. I don't know how y'all okay. feel. I, I don't know how Lise feels specifically. Why mean? Get keep my name out your mouth. You said you said. Uh, this is your. You. This, I is your let you, I this is your. This is your moment. You speak your truth. Well, I don't know. I mean, what else? What, what else? else? What else did I say? I I didn't love. Uh, the say, hospital. Say what you want to say. I'm trying to think of what I want to say. All right. There's Give me one a thing specifically. Yeah, there's one thing specifically I want you to mention. Oh, that you dis- that, that you text. disagree with, and you're wrong. Yeah. But that's mm. okay. Mm. Um, <laughs> I didn't like. The, the the hospital like massacre I guess scene it felt like a montage it felt weird like, like yeah. they were trying to like make it seem like I don't know it felt like an action movie for a second like it was just like highlight oh, real s- slow slow mo shooting all the guards and whatever and I was like it, it it felt it didn't feel the same as like what we've seen from the show in the I feel past. Like, I feel like maybe you think there wasn't like a um, there's a lack of like importance. Uh, um, given to that moment right i guess maybe because in the game that's like it's such like a visceral like uh climactic moment mm-hmm. in the game right and it's not and just, it's just a moment it's an extended period of time where you're doing that it's well i don't know how right. long by moment game, i meant but it's sorry, long by no, moment no, 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 i, I meant like that mean. whole stretch the whole hospital stretch is just like a it's a very like visceral kind of like um engaging cathartic and exciting experience, cathartic yeah. experience exactly so how do you how do you express that in the medium that is television you know they, i mean they if you think about it it's a build-up from the beginning of the game to the end of that the end of the game right mm-hmm. so why not do the same thing in the show we've had eight episodes prior to this a lot of the action has been condensed within like what was the episode the kathleen episode the sam episode um, the 
kind of sort of in the Tommy episode. So like, why not just make this be the grand, grand, the grand finale? Show as much action as possible, you know, because we've had that story building, the exposition, like you're talking not, about. That's not. That's not what the, the emotional. Uh, that's not what the filmmakers wanted to do. They wanted that's to what focus on. I want. They should yeah. be worried about what I want. <laughs> they they, they, I'm the viewer. Reasonably, I think they could have done both. I think they've shown Agreed. that they can do yeah. both. And I feel like... What they, was your... Any more concerns, Gerardo? I didn't like uh, Pedro's line delivery after he got knocked out from there on. It just felt weird. I don't know how oh, to describe brother, it. No, get the fuck out of here. Sick. I know I'm the biggest Pedro stand <laughs> in this book. That's the first time that's been directed at me, I think. And Not I the don't biggest. Like it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I just, I felt it was it was a bit off, and um, in what way? It just seemed flat, and I told you, and you tried mm. to gaslight me into telling me it was a character choice, and no, I disagree. I it think was they, a character. They choice. rushed him. They rushed him. They didn't let him cook properly, and now we have that mm. undercooked ass performance. That's what we have. To That's deal with. crazy. That is not an undercooked performance. Yes, it is. Okay, okay. So those are your thoughts. Those your are my opinions. thoughts. What do you think, Matt? You know, I'm a kind of a mix. Like, I liked it for the sake of, and mind you, we've all played, we've all played the game. So we know, we know how this was supposed to end. Right. But what we got, I think, I think, I think the use of that term is so, um, uh, like aggressive, like so confrontational (laughs) saying it should have ended. That's how the game ended. It did end that way. Yeah. Again, let's keep in mind this is an adaptation. So right, I'm get, I'm I'm know. getting to a, I'm I'm getting to a good point on that because like how we th- and this is this is kind of a thing with a lot of different adaptations from games or comics to other mediums. Like take MC from for example, everyone's like it has to be like this. It needs to go like this. Da 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 da. Yeah, pull from the source material, but if it's an adaptation, you know, it's doing your own spin on things, right? Yeah. Plus, they're working on doing seasons two and three. You can't end it the way the game ended and then expect to try and build into the next two, three seasons or whatever off of one particular ending. You want to try and flesh that out, right? So, but I, I thought it was okay. I thought it was, um, I didn't dislike Pedro's delivery. I thought he, I thought he was able to turn that switch, you know, that, that instinct kicked Boom. in, that Boom. defending, that defensive, that fatherly instinct snapped and, I think he's making up for what he didn't, what he feels like he failed with Sarah 20 years ago. I get, when, whenever I was having this conversation with Gerardo, he, I told him, I was like, look, I get where you're coming from and I, I get what you're saying. I said, what I think is that I think Pedro Pascal made a choice and the choice was, um, you know, uh, Joel is dealing with a lot of like psychological trauma, right? Mm-hmm. And a lot of that is like very internalized. 20, and a lot 20 of is- years worth of it. Or even for longer, probably. We don't know about his childhood and his life and stuff like that. True. So Pedro probably built uh, that for the character. But he's probably got a lot of unresolved trauma and a lot of uh, deep psychological issues. And so I feel like in that moment, crazy. Pedro Pascal made the decision that uh, whenever he was going to go on his rampage, on his uh, killing spree in the hospital, there's kind of like this switch in his head that went off and he just shut off completely. And now he's just like, because Fai was like, well, it feels like there's no like emotion. I was like, there's not, he's killing these people. I was like, and I was like, and you have to be right in a sense, heartless, right. To murder people. Mm-hmm. I've never killed someone. So I wouldn't know, but you would Allegedly. think that somebody who does that and who does that frequently <laughs> has to be heartless in a sense, you know, there has to be a lack of emotion and a lack of like empathy, at least in that moment for, for those mm-hmm. people that you're murdering. So I was like, so that's how I took it. That's how I took Pedro's performance was he was kind of cold and short and kind of distance, a distant in a sense, because he had just gone through murdering fucking 80 people in the span of whatever, 10 minutes, you know? So it's like, that is going to have some kind of like, like effect on you dudes. psychologically. Uh-huh. And you're going to be in the, and when you're locked in, when you're in that zone, like, I don't expect him to be warm and empathetic and, and kind of, um, you know, uh, welcoming in any sense of the word. I, I kind of think it would be the, the opposite. So that's that's to, that's kind of where, where I think that went. To add to that, what you just said, too, it's a good, it's a stark contrast from the Pedro, I mean, the, the Joel that we've seen build up over the last eight episodes. He started off cold, 
he warmed up to Ellie. He's become this fatherly figure, especially, you know, in the last two episodes, I think that's really, that really brought out that um, warmer side of him. Mm -hmm. And for Ellie to be in a position where he's like, I have to defend, this is my kid. I have to defend my kid. Sw the switch flipped. And he's like, I'm, like Wolverine, when, whenever Wolverine gets activated, you know what I'm saying? That X20, that, that, that weapon X kicks in. Almost said X twenty three. That weapon X kicks in. He's just out there murder. Like there's but, nothing stopping he's him. He's angry, and that's exactly what. Pitt and did. what I didn't well, yeah, see. Was, what I didn't same... see is that anger. Like take for example the last episode, the David episode, when he's uh, interrogating the two guys. He's very yeah. clearly angry, and you see that in right. Pedro's performance. And we all love that wet town line because of how much emotion there was behind it. And I feel like we didn't get that from him this episode and it's weird because you say oh we well, had to turn it off to kill that man was torturing people why you have to be pretty cold and heartless to do that too and i feel yeah, like but it's, it's different how because look torture it, loudness, is, a, is a strategic loud, choice loudness and yelling does not equate to emotion or, or anger or etc especially not when it comes to acting it's like the louder you are and the more you yell doesn't necessarily convey good anger on screen right and that's something that uh, that I think is very important to, to, I don't know. Recognize. I mean, I guess we're just uh, yet yeah, to recognize. I, I, I just don't think I'm going to convince, like you thought his performance was flat and I, and, and we, I didn't, and that it is what it is, you know, and, and, and whatever. But what I was going to say, uh, Matt, is that I think I like that point that you brought up is that, is that throughout the entire season, we've kind of see Joel's uh, character arc go from cold, distant, heartless, kind of like, dark man with a past that we don't really know about and then he kind of developed into this warm loving you know fatherly figure and then and, and what was the reason behind that transformation was his love for ellie right his kind of mm -hmm. kinship for ellie and it's also that very same kinship and love that he has for this girl that makes him or, or you know kind of revert back to the person that he is, which is a violent, you know, an operator, cold blooded operator. killer, right? An and that's the thing, <laughs> an operator, right? And it's like, is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? I mean, who knows, right? He's, he's kind of like a gray character, he's, he's like a, a gray guy. character, you know, there's no real, no real black or white. It's like, name one bad thing he did, and he even. He didn't murder innocent people. <laughs> who? That man who threatened him with a knife? No, Back no. when he was to with Tommy, right? Why Tommy leave him? Oh, yeah. I don't count that. <laughs> He's just got him there. You don't know. I'll even take this a step and I'll take this a step and compare another character of Pedro's to um, Joel. Din Djarin, the Mandalorian. Same thing. Well, not same exact thing, but similar. Ben's not know? murdering people. No, listen. Him, 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 let, let, let me let me let me let me extrapolate. Let me let me explain. That's his job. Um, Din's a Mandalorian, a bounty hunter, a, a hard ass character, tough as nails. He take no shit. He ended up just running up and gunning up. You know what I'm saying? But then he met Grogu. Grogu was his target, by the way. He was supposed to retrieve Grogu. He wasn't supposed to. He's only supposed to adopt this man and make him his or adopt this little dude and make him his son. Look at what he did. It's no, the same Goku's thing. A man. Goku, Goku's a grown-ass man. He's a baby. That is a child. That is the child. That's my son. He's, he's 50 years old. He doesn't age. Nah, he's a 50-year-old baby. Yeah, he ages like, Nerd. Like, like a dog or something. I will, like find him, I, will, I, I will agree with you on the fact that, on the point that you made, that this episode seemed very short. And it mm -hmm. seemed incredibly rushed. I don't... Wasn't it like 30 minutes? Know. No, it was like or 40 minutes. This is 40 minutes. Felt like 30 man, minutes. with those credits, it might as well have been 30. Yeah, I was like, well, if man. compared to the like the last two, three episodes were like 45 compared or to an the, hour the pilot, like it was that. 120 minutes. It was, it was an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, yeah, this scene, I don't know what the problem was or why it seemed so rushed, why the pacing was so weird and 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 look and i know it's a small thing or like a very stupid thing to gripe on and people who haven't played the game probably don't care and but but that that 
hospital scene, and we've talked about we talked about this in the group chat actually. Mm -hmm. Like, if it, had they handled in the, that the in unreleased, in the unreleased, unreleased tapes, tapes. <laughs> the, di the we, director's cut. We had talked about how if they would handled that differently, just from like a filmmaking perspective, had they like it would have been cool if they would have shot that entire hospital sequence in a single a take, take yeah. mm -hmm. you know, in a one take of Joel kind of making his way up to the top floor where they're operating on Ellie. Like that would have been, that probably would have given us a closer experience to playing the game, something visceral and, and, um, and cathartic like detective. And, and, and exciting and kind of like an action packed because they're in the moment <clears throat> mm -hmm. they're with Joel and it's just kind of tunnel vision. And, you know, um, so I, I don't know, look, it, and this is what's interesting about looking at shows is that you can, I, I don't like, giving like final opinions on stuff until the entire, the entire season has come out because when you mm -hmm. go episode by episode, you know, you can swing either way, but it's not until you have the whole thing as a whole that you can really formulate an opinion on it. And I do think overall, it is a disappointing episode. And I do think it is a disappointing finale. Like Gerardo said, like, and I, and I think all his gripes and all his, his, um, his points are, are incredibly valid. You know, oh, I just mm -hmm. gaslight like me in private. And I don't know how you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but in public, <laughs> I praise you. <laughs> but but uh, I, I just don't see, like, how can you drop the ball this late, this bad, and this bad? Like, y'all were doing so good. And, and uh, sorry, and I'll this shut is, up. This is, like, this, this is like blowing a 28 to 3 lead in the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Word to the freaking uh, Falcons. <laughs> <laughs> and, All our and, Atlanta fans, I'm sorry I had to do it to y'all. <laughs> And I'll, I'll shut up after this point, but it's like um, looking back at the entirety of the season, I like what they did, but it's like, could could we maybe have had a little bit more action and a little bit more clicker? Yeah, some infected. And a little bit more of the, uh, you know, a little bit more infected, you know, so uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's so, it's such a shitty feeling, you know, w talking about a finale of a show that We've loved, praised, mm -hmm. highly adored up until this point, and then just be like, man, at least such a bad taste in your mouth when the finale is not uh, up to snuff. Feel up to par, and yeah, then it doesn't feel up to this par. Is, with this is the finale season. we're gonna have to live with for two years until season two yeah, comes out. Probably, yeah, because yeah, they're probably gonna film next year or at the end of this year, mm -hmm. and then edit and then release it in like October or next year or whatever the fuck. Of uh, 2024 or whatever. Five. Oh, dude, 2025 is going to be loaded. If they drop it, man. Ain't no way I make it at 2025. Yeah. We're going to be watching, we're going to be watching every, like one thing every day. Be stuck in front of the TV screen or the movie screen. I'm trying to think. What Jesus. else? What did y'all, what did y'all, did y'all like? Oh, I didn't mention the beginning. I like the Ashley Johnson, um, Ellie origin story, the Ellie lore mm -hmm. that dropped. The I Ellie like, lore. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Um, I didn't love it, but I know why they did it. Like, I, I like, I understand that they were trying to make you understand uh, why Marlene was so like, just like strengthen the connection between Marlene and Ellie. Uh, I didn't love mm -hmm. the scene, but I did like uh, uh, the fact uh, that like, uh, what's her face? I forgot Ashley Ellie's Johnson. mom's name, but Ellie's mom lied oh. about the umbilical cord. And in order to like save Ellie, yeah. and I thought that was really interesting, and I was like, okay, that's cool. Like uh, that yeah. they were both Joel and uh, Ellie's mom were just gonna like say, "Fuck it, I'm protecting Ellie no matter what," and I thought that was mm -hmm. a cool little parallel. Yeah, no, I I I, I, I like that too. I like Ashley Johnson's performance; that she was amazing. I thought I thought the explanation for why Ellie. Uh, mm -hmm. is immune was... I didn't need it. I don't think anyone did. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I mean, we didn't need it, and in the games, it's never explained, but, mm -hmm. you know, I just thought it was cool, I guess. I thought it was neat. You know, people who watched the show probably did get a little bit of satisfaction from that, saying, okay, so that's how she's immune. Got it. Okay, and I and like that they didn't, they didn't make it, it a big deal. It more of a... kind of... Go for it. Sorry? I was just going to say, it gives it more of like a grounding to the, to, I guess, the real world more or less, because like you said, it's not explained. In the, it's not explained in the game. We're having to draw our own conclusions the whole time. Yeah. But this kind of gives people who who aren't um, <clears throat> the Last of Us video game acolytes like us. <laughs> it, it gives them, you know, something to kind of just 
I guess that about? Have... I, I guess because you could just view it from the lens of it not mattering. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Right, at least mm-hmm. that's not the point, right? That's not what's important. What's important is, is her relationship with Joel, her relationship with everybody around her, her decisions, what that does, her life. You know, that's what's important. Uh, the journey she goes on and the memories that she shares with these people, not not why she's immune or how, or, mm. or if it, that doesn't even contribute anything to, to, to the her immunity. The only way or the only like weight it carries is that it prevents her from turning. That's like that's it. Other than that, it doesn't literally does not affect her relationship with anybody in any she sense. She can still die. Yeah, yeah, yeah just how, uh, she still turn. get like like she said, like she said, you can still get it torn up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. Shout out Tess, RIP Tess. Tess. Tess, rip to a real. But she can't get infected, you know. Mm-hmm. Must be nice, bro. Because um, I couldn't get infected. I can't. I'm vaccinated. Kind of <laughs> Same. <laughs> boosted, baby. Vax boosted. Vax boosted up. Um, this episode yeah, was sponsored by Moderna. <laughs> I'm Me? trying to think. Johnson Johnson. I'm trying to so think. Pfizer um, gang. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to think what what other points I have to make about the episode. I mean, I, I just guess it's sad. I guess just that. Just I'm just sad that the finale, which I thought was going to be like an hour and a half long, and it was going to be super yeah. like exciting, kind of action packed thing, um, really disappointed me. I was disappointed yeah. by that, but the runtime, I didn't love. Like I said, and I never would expect to say these words. I was disappointed by Pedro. I know you disagree, but I crazy. think we saw crazy. better from him this season, and uh, I expect better from him next season. He better step it up. Or some other talk with him. Uh, Who knows? I'm going to have to shoot him a text. For however, however many... Uh... Oh, I'm not gonna say that. Take his ass golfing. Yeah, sh- don't say we stop. <laughs> yeah, that's why I deleted. That's why I, I took it off the script. I'm not saying it. We're, we're gonna <laughs> let that one. Y'all, y'all stay tuned to the Podcastic Four when we cover the Last of Us season two, part two. Yeah. Speaking of season two, what are y'all's expectations for um the next season? I mean, if you played, have y'all played uh, part two of I the just, game? I just started it. Uh, when I just I you have, just started it a couple hours in. And it's really good. Yeah. But damn. Pain. Yeah. Yeah. We are we're in for it. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Um the game is like twenty four hours long. It's so massive. um the main Bro, story is twenty four hours hear long. Hear me out. Hear so I know they're out. splitting it into two. I was gonna say they could do a twenty four episode season each hour of the game. Or a twelve one hour episode. Twelve and twelve. Twelve and twelve. Ooh, ooh, even they're better. Because they're, they're, they're not going to beat up. That no way. That'd be really cool. I was no way it happens, but that'd be really cool. Uh, there's no way it happens. Like, I'm <laughs> thinking. I'm thinking ten episodes each. You could easily cut mm. four hours yeah. from the overall game and then just make it ten hour long episodes. You know, <sighs> even then, bro. What would mm-hmm. you cut? There's a lot of good content there. No, That's but the so, problem. But you know, you have to make hours. a decision. But a lot of that is, you know, scavenging, walking. It's my favorite part. You know, picking up notes, unlocking saves. I love those. I'd be scavenging. I go with the save codes, if I'm being honest. (laughs) (laughs) I have a job. That's what I do. Hey, that's what I did on, um, that's what I was doing on Saints Row 4. I'm not going to lie. I was over here like, I'm not playing. I'm not doing this shit. Googled it up. Had a little Reddit page open. Um, I was like, all right, we breaking the codes. (laughs) I ain't got time for that. What would you guys um, rate the episode, the finale, and rate the finale, and then rate the season as a whole. This is gonna be this is gonna make people mad, bro. I'm about to piss everybody off. All right, so look, <clears throat> don't crucify me. Y'all know I've been giving this show high ass ratings. Like out of all the shows we've watched in the last what two years, three years, this is probably my favorite. And I gave every episode at least a six, a seven or better mm-hmm. from like episode one. This one's getting a six. Spit it out. A 5.5 to a six. Damn, 5.5? To a six, like around there. And that's that's solely because of the issues we voiced about the runtime, about things feeling a little bit too condensed, about um, not getting enough of the stuff we wanted to see. Um, Now, however, the show overall, that doesn't doesn't lower my my, uh, perception of the show. I still give it a nine out of ten. Overall, mm-hmm. 
I know that's a weird, like that the math doesn't add up. If I gave like sevens and eights and nines for like no, eight episodes and I gave a 5.5. Yeah. So we, we talked about it. We talked about how. I don't do math. We talked about how. How judging it at, at an episode by episode basis is different from judging it as a season. That's as a true. Whole, you know, so that, that makes sense. Head out of them. Um, I, I probably give agree with that. Um, I think a five. Five six is pretty pretty accurate for me. I don't I don't love this episode. I have mm-hmm. loved every other episode, and this one just disappointed me mm-hmm. in a way that I can't like really. I can't fake it. I can't be like, oh, it's a, it's a seven. No, like <laughs> it's like it. it's it's, it's kind of mid in my opinion. So I got my true humble, to myself. This is kind of mid in my humble mm-hmm. opinion. Wow. wow. Damn. Uh, and for the season, uh, for the season. The it does detract a little bit from it because you know that's the it's the ending. If you don't stick yeah. the ending, it's not as good. So I'd say it's like a seven, seven or eight. Whoa! I, it it at least it's the ending. You got to stick yeah, the landing, no, dog. So you can get everything else good, but if you don't stick the landing, that drops. But is it, it is it is it really well. the ending though? Wait for the season. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, grab okay. your golf clubs. I'll give the I'll give the episode a six point five. Hmm. You gave me and point five more than me. Hey man, <laughs> he had it's to one up you real quick. Point five is a lot, and I'll give this the the show as a whole. I think I'll give it a uh, an eight point five. Eight eight point hmm. five. I think as a overall, just because, like we said, I think. I think there it is fantastic television. I think everybody involved is amazing. I am just kind of disappointed in one the finale and two that there weren't enough infected. Mm-hmm. There, I would have wanted a little bit more action, a little bit more horror survival elements that are very present in the game and make the game what it is. But alas, maybe a lot of that has to do with the fact that they don't have a lot. They didn't have an awful lot of budget. For this season, and maybe next season, now that they know what a big show, what a success the show is, mm-hmm. they'll get more budget. They'll add more infected. They'll add kind of more action set pieces, and you know. And I'd, I'd like I to also think. think the... Sorry, I also think the second the second game and that story probably does lend itself to that mm-hmm. more. No, I was gonna, yeah, yeah. I'm scared. I'd also like to think that the the team at uh, HBO, you know, they know what they're doing. As far as this show, they know what they're gonna do moving forward. Look at uh, get, look at Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon, the the hype and success around that. This is gonna be yep. this is gonna be the same thing, if not better. You know, Ooh. they're gonna go into season two and three with they're gonna take what they learned from season one, all the pros cons, jot it down, say okay, this is what we're gonna do moving into next season. I trust Neil Druckmann, and you know we're gonna take a second to just praise Neil Druckmann and uh, Craig Mazin as we've been praising them. For the last nine episodes, um, you know, I feel like they know what they're doing. Yeah, this episode was kind of a letdown, but you know what? I'll give, I'll cut them some slack. I'll let them see. Yeah. Let's let's see what they do moving forward. It's not like with um, like with the and not again, Kevin. Don't cancel our MCU bag, please. This is just a critique. It's a friendly, harmless critique. Um, the last few MCU shows, you know, Movies. we expected something, we didn't get it, and it 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 dropped the ball. The best thing out of Phase Four was a uh, Werewolf by Night, yeah. the best project, yep. the best yep. uh, project yep. out of Phase Four. That was yep. a one one short little, you know, one shot presentation. Meanwhile, we have six episode shows that are missing the mark. We have full length movies that are just absolutely atrocious. Like yes, man, <laughs> and yeah, I can't even I can't even Thor: Love and Thunder, just Holy to name one. Yo. Doctor Strange. Multiple Just to name yeah, Graham's not here. Graham's not here. Yeah, so he can, Graham's not here to defend this. He can't, he can't uh, <laughs> stop us from slandering that garbage ass movie. <laughs> Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Midness, bro. Do not let whoever wrote these movies come back to write again. And yeah. they are the same ones who are going to come back and write Se- uh, Secret Wars and Kang. Dynasty. Nah, get me, get us in the writers' room, bro. I can't be. Anyways, <laughs> not to get on that tangent, that Marvel tangent. We'll get back to that. We'll save our Marvel bag for later on. But yeah, this is a team of people, a team of of uh, filmmakers and Artists. directors and creators who know yeah. what they're doing. And I have I have complete faith in them. Even though, like I said, this episode was a letdown. But the other eight episodes were fantastic. So in the grand scheme of things, not that bad. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. uh, versus, you know, six episodes of what the fuck is going on. Anyways. <laughs> and look, sorry and look, to, and, and I know, sorry and I, to Marvel. <laughs> look, and I've said this before, and you know, I, I've said it on Twitter and I've said it, I think on the podcast that if you're so upset with like how this adaptation turned out, just go play the original game. So go like, that's there yeah. for you. If you want to revisit play the game. That. And, it, and I get it. And, and I guess that's why I'm kind of like, upset at myself for complaining about the things that I did, but I think I'm, do- I'm doing it uh, from a place of like um, love. love, you know, like I love the game so much and I love everybody involved in the show so much. And I love the show so much that I'm just simply, simply stating things that I th- that I personally would have liked to have seen. Mm-hmm. That's not detracting from the choices that, you know, Neil Druckmann and Craig Mazin made or that, uh, you know, anybody involved made It's just things that I would have liked to have seen. Uh, personally, uh, not saying that I hated the decisions they did make, you know. So I do think it is important to to point that out as well that we are coming for approaching it from a place of love, and you know we're just uh, uh, giving positive reinforcement, not necessarily like shitting on it, you know. Which I think yeah. is very important to to distinguish. Yeah, because if we had made this channel back when Moon Knight came out, <laughs> different vibe, bro. I would have been on <laughs> demon time. I would have been slandering. Rocket, that Mar- that Marvel bag would have been gone the first day because I would have said so much and Marvel would have drone strike me. <laughs> Marvel would have <laughs> We would have had a I would have had six black Tahoes pull up outside my house. I'd be sitting there like, oh <laughs> shit. Oh, About to John Wick my way out of here. How, how oh much, man. How, what part of the game are you in, Fabio? Without like spoiling, like how far on okay. part two? Part two, yeah. Uh, it's saying where we saying where we are isn't a spoiler, right? No. We just are you in Salt Lake City? No, I didn't even know you go to Salt Lake City. I'm in Seattle. I'm Seattle. in the second oh, tangent of Seattle. Seattle. Okay. I don't know where you are. Okay. So I was gonna say I get you. I think I, just found my I think victim. what part what <laughs> what part of the <laughs> story or what where they decide to end season two? I think it's going to be mm-hmm. very important as well. Uh-huh. Like how, what characters they decide to, without spoiling stuff, you know, which characters they mm-hmm. just, which, which story they decide to tell and focus mm-hmm. on in season two, I think is going to be very important. And I, and, um, you know, I just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm interested as to how they're going to navigate. Honestly. That. Cause they're, I like, I, I like how you worded that very carefully. Cause you can't, w- we can't, we can't talk about it the way we want to talk about it. Cause it hasn't come out yet, but the game, if you play the game, y'all know exactly what we're talking about. So I'll leave it at that. Go ahead. Gerardo, you I was going to say, please. honestly, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Oh, oh you will. You, <laughs> what did uh, he do? No, I don't. You will. I'm not sure what exactly you're referring. You could be referring to a number of things. I'm not sure, but I, I am, like or am I? There's just different. There's multiple stories. Yeah. What I was gonna say all of, is, all I of think them. the different stories that you see in the second game will lend itself better to, uh, the the show because you don't have to put yourself mm-hmm. in a specific character's shoes, right? True. On the contrary, I think it'll work less because I think the second, I think the second game forces you to spend time with characters that you would otherwise not want to spend time with. Um, mm. In order, in or in order to finish the game, like that's a part of the game is you have to play these characters. Whereas in also the show, true. right? Whereas in the show, you can be like, no, fu- like you, you're not gonna feel that sense of ownership over them because you're not controlling them you get what i'm saying so i feel like there's going to be a bit of a a a bit more of a disconnect um so that's going to be interesting how they how they decide to handle that um that aspect of the story and that aspect of the game and and who they decide to cast as a very important character in season two as well because i feel so bad for that Mm -hmm. that's i feel so bad for that actress or that performer because um, they're gonna they're gonna get hate the game version shit on a lot they're going to get hate over just Lending yeah. their yeah. face, they didn't even act as the character. Yeah, they were just a face model. Right. For that they are character. going to get oh. sh- shat on, shitted, and pooped on. <laughs> yeah, for no reason. And I promise you, I already know. I'm telling you right now, they're going to be amazing. Like they're going to be so. an amazing oh, yeah. actor. It's going to be gonna like a, 
And people are going to be like, like An- Anthony, who are you casting, Luis? It's going to be comparable to Anthony, Anthony Starr as Homelander because, you know, you hate him. He's a bad guy, no, but, but you love that. his performance. No, but that this person, this character okay. is a, a little less. Is, is a, a villain. Is a, what, is a villain is a horrible path, person, yeah. and I hate them. Wyatt, I haven't Wyatt, the game, Wyatt the Russell as uh, John F. Walker. I fucking love him. I sure. love Wyatt Russell. Except not dog shit. Him. I just love Wyatt Russell <laughs> as an actor. So uh, I'm, I mean, yeah, I love I'm Wyatt biased. Russell. I do too. He's <laughs> great. He's Overlord, great. Go watch Overlord, by the way, guys, okay. if you haven't seen it. Oh, yeah. Movie 20, 22 Jump Street. That one's new. I forgot he was in he's 22 in 20, Jump he's Street. He's in 22 Jump Street? He's a yeah, football he was, player. He was, Zook, he was a Zook, the quarterback with the, the, the fish on his arm. Wyatt <laughs> Russell's in 22. <laughs> I didn't know that. I forgot about that. What was better the, the roles? Fish, the tattoo. Oh, Black Mirror that one play test episode, episode was shit made me piss my pants. I was I was in the house crying. I was suffering. You know what I'm saying? I have nightmares every day. I want that to see a therapist. Seems fun. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's just season, it's that's our it's a lot of uh, talk. and that's the last of the Last of Us until season two. In six in years. years. You, like what, you like what I did there? See what yeah. I did there? So when y'all come back, when y'all check back in with us, be sure to listen to the rest of our episodes in between then, obviously. <laughs> yeah. But when y'all check back in for the Last of Us talk in 2025, 2026, you know who to Man, come to first. 26. Pedro's going to be 80 years old by then. We can't be waiting that long. He's only 40-something. Like 46. Could be me. Yeah, that's not bad. Would never let myself get look scared. at Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman's like sixty and he's still being Wolverine. That's crazy. I Oof. hate that. Don't get five. Don't get five oh, yeah. started on that. And he, he just go he built little like me tunes, too. Bro. You know what I'm saying? He go do your little what? Say, go do your little show tunes, dog. <laughs> hey, whoa! Not too much on Broadway, baby. I know. I know. Yeah, I know. We disagree my, on that. The greatest showman. Y'all gonna, start, bro? y'all gonna start doing these bro- these anime episodes? I'm gonna do Broadway episodes. I'd rather do the Broadway. With <laughs> huh? Hey, speaking Broadway speaking episodes. of, we're gonna uh, get no views on yeah. those. By the way, <laughs> no, yeah, we no. will. We we're will. Gonna, we're gonna get those a lot guys of views. are busy rewatching Trust. Glee. There's no way. There's no. There's no time. To okay, we're gonna talk about Glee. Who gonna st- who gonna they gonna check in? They have I'll to talk about Glee. Glee fucks. Glee fucks. Glee. We're gonna figure out to see me whether Leah Michelle can read or write. <laughs> no. Yeah. The podcast Next question. For investigates. <laughs> We're gonna be detectives. <laughs> Our first investigative documentary. Podcast. We're gonna be like the try guys, but oh, good. yeah, podcastigate and not cheat. I on like that wife. one. That's the only thing I, I like, like about yep, it. True. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> you regretted that oh, the moment you said it. This guy stinks. I don't regret it. My my, how the turns table. Yeah. Hey, hey speaking, of, uh, and... mm-hmm. speaking of Broadway and speaking of a Broadway in New York, we're about to shift. We're about to switch gears here in a little oh. bit. I'm about to open this one up, talking about with a big old yer. <laughs> now let's take a stab. Let's take a stab at another topic as we discuss the sixth installment of the Scream films, plus our expectations for Shazam: Fear of the Gods. Shazam, um, is... yeah, Shazam: Fear of the Gods. <laughs> This is about this is about to be more delicious than a chopped cheese from your favorite bodega. So uh, let's get into this the right. Aki way. Can't forget the Bev. Never, the never. Aki way the Aki way. That's enough. Uh, so cool. That's enough New York references for now, bro. Oh my gosh. Get but anyways, thirty. Get thirty. Get 30 right Put on some drill right now. I'm saying, Bing Bong. We in here. Uh, no, I forgot about that. I don't want to be reminded of that. Bing bong. Yeah. I'm glad that era is yo, over. Yo, Ariana Grande, come on down to Coney Island riding a cyclone with me, mama. I miss you. This is so horrible. <laughs> I hated that. And when you see these dogs in your front yard, you know I'm upstairs going hard. Bing bong. <laughs> I don't like how good you are Bro, at that. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I've been I've been working on these impressions when I'm at home. You know, when yeah. it gets late at night, I'm not it watching is, anything man, on I'm, TV. Don't 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 quit your day job. No, quit it. This is my day keep, job. Keep working on them. You know, this is my day job. <laughs> <laughs> this is all I do. Um, 
They think when I'm at work, when I clock in, I'm at work. No, <laughs> that's part time. This is full time. He's doing his type five in his <laughs> car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Hey, y'all, y'all can't see it, but I got my Tim's on. You know, we would call it typical Please Saturday night. I got the five. the I got the butters. Bro, I can't lift my leg that high. You know, I got injured. I would lift mine, but I'm definitely not wearing shoes. Couldn't be me. I'm wearing my Tim's. I'm ready to stomp yeah, on be, somebody. Can't be showing them. Um, yeah, I'm raw dogging. Right unlaced. Now. Raw dog in the yeah, floor. I'm ripping my carpet. <laughs> hey, before before we get into the scream discussion, um, let's first of all, Luis is the only one who's seen it, so he's gonna be our point man on this. <laughs> we'll discuss my, the movie that I just that I'm my, the only one that saw. My excuse is that I was still in that theater screaming about Creed three. I was hyped up. Me and Jonathan, like I said, this is my dog. Got to watch that. He he watched watched it, was, it was good, right? Was and then, good. and then we were trying to we were trying to catch up on the Oscars movies too. So I was over here watching you know, every, everything I wrong at once. Yeah, you know, I was trying to get caught up. Luis is getting caught up, so he he's the only one who who understood the assignment. Too to watch many. Six. I failed. <laughs> I was like, I had to rewatch all of them too. I was busy rewatching all the Rocky and Creed movies before I watched Creed three. That was like mm-hmm. ten movies, bro. I was sick to my stomach. No, I, I skipped Rocky, Rocky four. Ones, to be honest, no way. You watch Rocky you, Four. You, you really, really, you need, yeah. I but yeah, that. I guess my first question before we get into discussion, uh, Luis. So, did Ghostface pull up in a New York fitted with no brim? No brim. Or was it full brim all the way around? You know, I I need to understand. I need to I need to know. The audience would like to know too. Yeah, also, are we doing spoilers in this episode? I think it's been no, enough time. Y'all, we y'all came y'all out last it. week, right? Y'all I don't seen care. It? Oh, true. That's true. I just have hey, I'm going to watch it anyways. But I'll ask it at the end because we'll do a spoiler. All right. Okay, okay. Uh, no, Matt, he did not. I hate to disappoint you. He did not pull up in a no brim Yankees a brim hat. Fitted. Yeah. That's a. Yeah, no, that movie's no garbage. Tim's I don't want to watch it now. I'm not watching it. Uh, <laughs> no Tim's on this. Did he have Tim's? No Tim's? No. Did they no. Ever Get him out. I don't want it. I don't want it. Did they Reverend? ever mention Tim's at no. any point in the movie? They sure did. Don't. They say the Aki. Nope. Way the real at question point? is, was did, did they, they ever what? say the Aki way at any did they point? Say... <laughs> this no. movie is never know. Not, not in New York. Asking not in New York. Keep asking New York stereotypes. Wait, and I'll just was there around. a rat? Were there rats in the subway? Were there subway? Scenes? This is I not a New York movie, bro. I think there may have this been a not... couple of shots. Of, actually, I think there may have been a couple of shots of. Let's some go. Okay, maybe it's a little bit of a New York movie. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit of New York movie. I mean, People also, getting sturdy. No, it takes place in New York, though. Manhattan. So. That doesn't. Then, uh, it's like I'm not Brooklyn sure or something. Times Times Square. He's in Queens. Yeah, he was right. Spider Man. The uh... They couldn't afford Manhattan. Oh, name all, you said name all the boroughs? That's insane. I can't do that. Oh, you Lisa, got Queens, that, hold on, let, let Queens let Lisa, let Lisa Harlem, Brooklyn. Lisa's been in New York. I want Lisa to do it. Name the five boroughs, Lisa. <laughs> I went to New York one <laughs> yeah, time. Like six so years ago. Like, <laughs> like, ten years ago. Yeah, like eight years ago. Or whatever. Bro, I can it's name them all. I Oscar Isaac. You met Oscar Isaac in New York? You did. And Keegan, you Keegan Michael Key, your best friend. And Keegan Michael Key. Like in person. Like I had a conversation with Oscar for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? I want it to be known here. I want it to be known here on this channel by all y'all listening and all y'all viewing at home. We have celebrity clout now. We <laughs> didn't saw, have celebrity didn't clout. This? I, thought I didn't know this. I didn't mention this. I thought I knew you. I thought I, I told you. you. Nah, bro. Now, now you just... You, now <laughs> Now you just added uh-huh. to the lore of the channel. Like, so that was me. That was that was me being the lore so of famous. Her. I don't know you anymore. I thought I knew you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I met. I went to go watch him do Hamlet on Broadway. No freaking girl, I love Hamlet. Yeah, that's badass. Yeah, I need. I need to see that. Me and my best friend went, and we got to meet him. And so I, you, as you can as you can imagine, I fangirled uh, very very hard. It was embarrassing. So how'd you, go to, how'd you go to New York and you don't know the five boroughs, bro? Because cool. I didn't go to, I don't live there. <laughs> I don't know my New York geography. What do you mean? I don't live there and I know the five boroughs. Bitch, I went to go see Oscar Isaac and I achieved that and that was it. The fuck I'm going to go. So that's all I wanted. I about New York like that. That's all I wanted and I achieved I never, that. And I never went there and I know the five boroughs. Got him. So. 
What do you have to say to that, Luis? <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> there you go. Good for yeah. you, man. And guess who's met Oscar Isaac? Not, Not the guy me. who knows the five boroughs. I met Oscar Isaac in my dream. Hey. You met who? Oscar Isaac in my dream. In your dream? At least twice oh, a week. That's all that matters, bro. I met J.J. Watt. We perform uh, Romeo Ooh. and Juliet. He's Juliet. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So for real about this movie, man, how how was it? What are your thoughts on it? Um, you know, the progression of the story, especially coming off the last scream, the last scream movie, was, how how much people liked it and all that. Yeah, that know? was something that was something that I was that I was kind of concerned about, right? Because I was like, you know, Scream has from its inception always been kind of like a it's always been super meta, right? Talking uh, you know, it takes the tropes of a horror movie and then, you know, subverts expectations and plays on those tropes and whatever, whatever. And so, you know, you can only do that ever so many times without it feeling old and mm-hmm. stale and feel like you're just treading the same old ground. So I came in, I, I, I really liked the fifth one. I enjoyed mm-hmm. it a lot. I really thought that cast was really good. And I think the two directors, Jack um, Quaid, except for Jack, Jack Quaid, that was the worst I like part the other of that movie. Dylan, Minnet, the, Dylan Minnet, Dylan Minnet. I like Dylan, Dylan Minnette. Minnette. No, fucking uh, 13 Reasons Why. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Clay I Jason. Like Clay. Dylan Minnette's character. He didn't die. Like... Oh, he died in the movie? Definitely died. Yeah, he did. He's dead as Anyways, shit. Anyways, <laughs> I, I like the... I... I like, I like for the, like, I like for like two movie. seconds. I thought you were talking about Thirteen Reasons. I was like, "There's no way he died." Finish. I watched like all three no, seasons in, in Scream. In Scream. Okay, I was about to um, say like, bro. Am I he, <laughs> so I really liked the fifth movie. I liked what they did, and and I was really excited going into this one. But I was just like I said, kind of apprehensive about how, how what are you going to do with the story? How are you going to how are you going to change it enough to still make it interesting and to make this franchise work? Thank right. But they handled it. I think they handled it in a in a pretty clever way. It wasn't obvious, you know, who Ghostface was, which 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 is honestly that's that's the only thing you can ask from this movie, right? Because you you know you're gonna get kills. You know you're gonna get kind of, you know meta commentary. You know you're gonna get maybe some laughs here and there. You know, did Gail get What's shot up? again? She keeps getting shot and living. I don't know, man. Oh, she just like me. She like fifty cents. <laughs> she she's the Scream yeah. Universe fifty cent, basically. Yeah, yeah. she's the Curtis Jackson of, uh, <laughs> of Westboro. She be when she gets ready for her scene, she be listening to many men. Uh, many <laughs> men. She's standing there like many men with death upon me. <laughs> I'm like, what? But yeah, so um, you know, so I thought I thought it was very very well executed, very well handled, and it was a good time. I thought it was. I thought it was pretty, like, I thought it was good. I thought it was a solid film. And, um, yeah, I definitely recommend it. I like the cast. I'm I'm not, like, I, I really like Melissa Barrera. I know Gerardo doesn't like her because he, he's in his, his least favorite musical adaptation of all time. But uh, uh, I really like her. I thought, I think she's Who a really that? good, um, kind of like uh, the chick from In the Heights. Oh, yeah. Um, Fuck that movie. Oh. <laughs> I have no problem with her. <laughs> I so, just don't like uh, Anthony um, Ramos. Anthony Ramos. I know, but uh, <laughs> Anthony Ramos. Ramos. You no, know, she's really good. Uh, je- I I wasn't like huge on Jenna Ortega. I was like, whatever. But I I get it now. Like I understand. Like she's she's got it. Like she's she is she's really talented and she's really good and she's got a really bright future ahead of oh, her. Oh no, man, I don't like. Um, do you think she's the next Hollywood it girl? She already is. Um, I don't know. It depends what kind of. I mean, yeah, she's she's. Yeah, she's got the hype and the clout like nobody's business, dude. Everything she, like, she does is going to be popular. Wednesday, put her, on the map. She's in, she's in Beetlejuice. She's going to be in Beetlejuice 2. Exactly. Um, I think she got cast in Daredevil, huh? right? Didn't she get cast in the, the next Daredevil? No, I don't think so. That's a rumor. I've I heard she, that I rumor. Swear I could have, well, maybe, I've heard that. I don't know if it's confirmed. Maybe you got, that rumor got, got debunked when Kevin sniped the studio spoilers page. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> Uh, but Mason Gooding and Jasmine Savoy Brown are really good too. Mason Gooding mm. is, you, y'all know Cuba Gooding Jr.'s son. That's Cuba Gooding. Mm-hmm. He plays Chad. He plays that's Chad. That's Cuba Gooding Jr.'s that's son. That's Cuba's son. That's another that's Cuba's Cuba's boy. God damn, bro. Spring can't catch a break. Bro. First Jack. <laughs> Cuba Gooding Jr.'s son. Damn, who else? 
Yeah. Uh, probably Nico uh, Parker in this one. Hey, what about no. what Josh about my o, what about my Cigar boy my boy this. Josh Cigar? Yeah, I was about to say what about my boy Pug Pug? Oh, I fucking love Pug. my dog, bro. He's in okay, this. Okay, I gotta watch it. He's the best yeah. part of of, of She Hulk. So besides She Hulk, he's really good. I like him. And so, I, like overall, I thought it was good. I'll give it like a seven point five out of ten. Okay, so better you than know? Cocaine Bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say bro. so. You I know how it. it's not hard to be better than cocaine bear, bro. I, I cocaine bear no, is better bro. than like three things. Cocaine bear is better than Megan, and Megan. Whoa, was Megan. whoa, 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 whoa! Megan was a fucking experience. Cocaine bear was not better than Megan. I know, my god, like Megan was. Megan was all right. Megan was not. A cocaine good bear movie. was all right too. That theater was experience fun. was no, fucking co- <laughs> top notch. Cocaine bear was dog the only shit. theater experience that's ever beat Megan, Megan. Was all right. I have two. That's Endgame, and that's No Way Home. That's it. Megan was the most like <laughs> interactive, the most interactive theater I have ever been in. It's insane. We were laughing at the movie as as a group. We were, we were a family by the time we left that theater. That's that's, that's true. It's a bonding yeah. experience. That's how my theory was. Cinema, Cinema. baby. That's, Cinema. that's my theory was in uh in in Ant Man for the post credits because all the Marvel the real Marvel st- the real Marvel fans stood up when we saw that that post credits scene. I said, I know who that is. I know who that is. I said, oh my God. That's... And everyone was like, yeah. I said, Mm-mm. that was me. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. It's a good I time reckon, in the cinema. I recommend. No, I mean, and Scream's the same thing. You know, you're going to go mm. in there. I, I I forgot how long it is. I think it's almost two hours. I think it's like an hour and 40 minutes. Um, yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, I think so. It's not. It's a two hour it goes movie. by. It's to our movie, and it goes by super quick. Like it flows very well. Pacing's really good. Like you'll have a really good time. Like you're not sitting there being like, "Wow, this is dragging," or this. It just kind of like hits the ground running, and you're just going. And you know, it's you, the you, ground, you're the trying to figure way. out the mystery behind. <laughs> yeah, the Aki exactly. way. It, it begins yeah, thirty in the movie theater. Yeah, but um, uh, yeah, I think it was a, it was a solid film. I will say about your about the runtime point. I think we have been um kind of inundated with very long movies thanks to you know like the likes of Endgame and Avatar and the Batman we've seen like how many three four three hour movies Zack Snyder's Justice League four hours Uh, it's very refreshing to go into a theater and watch a movie for like an hour and 30 minutes and then come out like wow I can go watch something else now too I like this this was fun let's go do something Mm -hmm. else now you know like when I watched uh Coke Bear it was like an hour and 40 minutes or something I was like it felt like it felt it felt like a solid little you know like a yeah, this, it doesn't feel clip. loaded. As refresh, recent, uh, yeah. Theater theater. And I mean, even when I watched, um, <clears throat> even when I watched Megan, it was the same way. It was about the same. I think it was That's about how the I same. I thought about uh, Ant Man because it was long as shit. Ant Man was pretty listen, long. Listen, listen to these. Listen to this list of three hours movies from twenty twenty two. The Batman. Mm. Mm-hmm. That didn't finish it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Avatar: that The Way of Water, Babylon. Mm-hmm. And Babylon, or just fuck Babylon. You know, like and we've seen, we've seen all of those, and it's too. It, I get it. I get why they're that long, and everything. Story, blah blah blah, exposition. You you name it. The average Potential. brain, the average American brain, actually, the average brain <clears throat> in the world. Especially, I'm, I'm a preface. I'm not. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a neurologist. I'm not a neuroscientist. I'm not anything. I'm just a guy with a microphone. Okay. And a, yeah, a couple of beers. That, and that's the problem. <laughs> is that you're a man with a microphone. Man. That's the problem. That being that being said, <laughs> that being said, the average brain has the attention span of a goldfish. I am not sitting through three hours. I mean, I am because I've done it. And how many times have we seen? How many movies mm-hmm. we've seen, bro? Like you know, we've done this multiple times. Luis, we we saw ba- the Batman opening weekend. Yeah, we sure did. We sat through that. It was great. You didn't even have to, you know. Sat through is. Uh, is an unfair descriptor. You you experienced that. Man, Embraced. Yeah. We experienced it. Yeah. You know? Because sitting through we, Babylon we, and we, sitting through we, Batman are not the same thing. Talk to him. Patch. Sean Fennessy can at me. You haven't even Plus. seen it. You, you can't prove it. that. Why, it's on why did it lose Plus. all of its Oscars? What's it about? What's it about? It nominated two Oscars. Because there was better Oscars. Because it wasn't good. Thank you. <laughs> Every movie that lost an Oscar. Did you like Top Gun Maverick? Did you like you like Top Gun Maverick? You know I did. 
I haven't Y'all seen it. Huh? know what's going on. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't get me started, boy. Uh, you're going to see me start doing the most patriotic. Ah, yeah. oh, boy. But, but but that's the thing. Even if you do have a three-hour movie, some of them do do be, you know, feel like they're dragging. Like but that's the good thing about Scream 6. Shut up. No, it didn't. It that was really great. <laughs> Banshees was so wasn't good. bad. No, I'll tell you, you know what movie did drag? I still liked it, but it dragged a lot. It was Avatar 3. Because it, yeah. there's a whole Ooh. hour worth of movie where they're freaking swimming. I don't give a shit. I get it. They can swim now. Cool. Water now. <laughs> it's called the way of water. Yeah, it's fucking, this is water now. Oh, my God. We show me aliens James. killing other aliens. That's what I'm trying show to me, see. Show me the show beef. The I want to see them beefing with them light skin, them light skin Navi. They were light skin Navi. Light skin Navi. Yeah. Alien racism. Yeah. God, I love James Cameron. The, me, no, the no, Metcaina. No, that's, there's colorism. The no, Metcaina, they're not. definitely light skin. That boy had curly hair. Third movie, he's introducing a fire people. I guarantee you they're going to be a dark They're going to be dark skin. They're going to be dark. Yeah, they're going to be like purple. They're going to rub like up like ash on themselves every day in the morning. Like exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Go. <laughs> mm-hmm. This movie going to be mad racist, bro. Oh, my James goodness. Cameron, James Cameron is literally making Avatar. Like, the yes. Like the, the last airbender. airbender. Like, yeah. He's gonna make him go to every like tribe in, on Pandora and unite. I them. think they said. I think they said the fourth movie might be on Earth too. So Earth. What the fuck? We're invading Earth. I'm with it. Invade the shit. I'm, I'm <laughs> invade the shit. Should I watch Avatar? Do it now. It be on Disney Plus. Yeah, watch it. The second one's better than the first one. Like it's better the than the first one. one. Watch it. It's, it's too long. The second. The second one. The second one is this the first better. one, but if they refined it and made it and good, <laughs> made it really first good. One? You said you like the first it's, one, but it's, it's too a long. Fun movie. This it one's looks better. Cool. It's, it's an longer. experience. This is way too long. It's, it drags on. This is longer. This is like three hours, like two hours. It is literally three, three hours. hours. No, it's dead ass. Three hours. Got business to take care of, you know. I work business. <laughs> this is my recommendation for anyone who's going to go see Avatar The Way of Water. First things first, do not eat anything, do not drink anything all day. <laughs> and then, second thing, second, if you do drink something, Go to the bathroom right before the movie starts because you are not going to get up. And don't You're illegally stream it. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Pirate Bay. We do not anyway, condone piracy. So do they. I condone it. I when condone they pay me not to condone it, I, I won't I condone, condone it. it. Yeah, when you <laughs> pay me not to condone shit, yeah. But until then, I'm not getting paid, so neither are y'all. Them boys on Jack Sparrow. <laughs> them boys on Jack Sparrow timing. Yeah. Piracy. Yeah, you can't prove that. That was a terrible joke. <laughs> yeah, boo yourself. Yeah, little hat. I'm trying to push them. Yeah. Well deserved. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna be doing when uh, Shazam: Fury of the Gods Oof. comes out. Oh my god! I keep oh forgetting and like being reminded that that movie is coming out. Who who the fuck is excited? I tried. I tried. I in I intentionally try and forget this. I movie only ever is, get reminded, reminded either on Twitter or when I'm at the movies and I have to sit through that ad. That 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 that, that, theater, that trailer. trailer is when I go to the restroom. By the way, somebody <laughs> tweeted. You know, somebody tweeted whenever the trailer first dropped, and I remember we I tweeted off the page. Somebody tweeted something talking about some. This is about to be a fire movie. They got a Drake song in the trailer. I was like, bro, this is the most ass trailer I've ever seen in my life. Mm-hmm. And, and I've I seen like many the first a trailer. Like yeah, the first that's, a that's a crazy. Yeah, that's a crazy part. That's Fun. one of the. That's one of the few DCEU movies we don't have Fun. problems with. Mark you Strong. Know, what it. is it about? What is it about the second one that looks like? It just shit. yeah. It just looks bad. Everything. Seeing that trailer, Everything. it makes it make sense why the DCEU is being rebooted. Like it just cracks. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> you know. This is no. This is no shade or slander to David F. Sandberg and everything. Yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> cause no, cause cause the first one. Think about it. He has the first one. He has uh, well, he have Annabelle. He's got Lights Out. He's got all these other movies. The first Shazam, I liked it. Director. I had he's fun. I maker. had fun. This <clears> second <throat> one looks like a big steaming pile of shit. What's that video for The Rock? That was the biggest pile of dog <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's him, the Black Adam. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I even matter of fact, I'll I'll I'd rather watch Black Adam that's than watch crazy. this. And this movie's not even out yet. No, that's crazy. crazy right? No, you don't. Yeah. No, you don't. And no, you, you haven't don't. experienced it. 
Black Adam. Yeah. Holy shit. Look, like it feels, but, it feels, it feels really, it feels really like they're, they're trying to. I don't even know what they're trying to do. That's the thing. I don't know what they're trying to do anymore. Look, it's I, like but I feel like they're just cranking they, out shit. Look, just to crank look, out shit. Did you see that in the most recent like TV spot? They they spoiled the Wonder Woman appearance. Mm-hmm. And people were like, Oh, y'all can't even say that. It's like, dude, they're not making any more Shazam movies after this. It doesn't fucking matter. This is matter. done. That's it's over. That's why they're just like, that's why they're like, here, show them that we have Wonder Woman so we can make the most fucking money possible opening weekend because mm-hmm. that's when a movie makes most of its money. It makes 97% of its total earnings Ooh, opening shit, weekend. Reese? Or something like that. Yeah, or or 93. It's somewhere in the 90s. Of that's its not total Marvel, earnings though. opening weekend. <laughs> right, but... but like, that's how DC like, movies average. handle it. And so... And so, um, <laughs> dog. Crap. And so they're like, they're like, let's just get as many butts and seats as we can opening weekend, and call it a fucking day because we're not having any more of these. So just get everybody in there. Show them Wonder Woman is in there, and fuck it. You yeah, know? I love seeing Zachary Levi like tweet wants- about how he might get another one if the box office results are good enough. And I'm like, he said, well, that? I don't know if it was Zachary Levi or the director, but they were tweeting about it. And I was like, that's not, it's not no. happening. Man. What let me say? tell you. Let me tell you right now, bro. They're just tweeting shit to be. It's, it's a misdirect. It's a misdirect because here, here's the thing: the DCU, the DCEU. Let me rephrase: the DCEU is deceased. It's over. It's done. Bury it. Don't want to see that shit again. Bye bye. See you later. We're going into the DCU, which is going to be new, fresh, rejuvenated shit, brand new, um, all star Superman ooh, ooh, ooh. or whatever, question, the, question, whatever question. you want to call. Um, is the What's Flash that? DCU or DCEU? Like, are they switching them? I don't know. It's like it's like it's like fifty fifty right now because apparently it's going to be a reset. Because that one Loki looks good, which is a it's a simple cop out. And I mean, out of the out of the four DC movies coming out this year, the Flash and we haven't seen any. Mind, mind you, we haven't seen a trailer for Blue Beetle and Aquaman yet. Not but of Blue. those four no. that are coming out this year, I'm, I'm excited for Blue Beetle, bro. I'm, I'm excited for the Flash. I have high shit. hopes for Blue Beetle. We I have high hopes for Blue shit. Beetle. When is it come out? I, November or something like that? August. I think Ooh. August. And no trailer? We, come on, bro. We'll probably, we'll probably get one coming up in, in, the, in the, 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 summer, the start of the summer. It, I promise you. No, we'll, we'll, get like a trailer com- we'll get like a trailer coming up in like the summertime. Yeah. Because, you know, they got uh, Aquaman in November. And that's it for DC, the old DC. And then we wait, and we wait about a year, and Bro, then we get the we're new, five months new away movies. From Blue Beetle. That's five months. Thing. We have not a trailer, not, not a teaser, one, not a nothing. teaser. We've seen a poster and leaked five set photos. Out. Leaked set photos. That's it. Bro, I'm worried. I'm trying I'm to think. I'm trying to think. Bro, I'm, I'm trying to think. They're gonna back girl oh, it. I forgot. It's gonna, the get the, it's gonna get the back girl. They're gonna, it's yeah. gonna get back girl, bro. Nah, it's gonna it's gonna stick through. They're gonna make it. They're gonna make some trail some trail some teasers. I can't speak. Some teasers and trailers come out. The big <clears throat> trailer is gonna come out during the finals in the NBA, and then the movie's gonna come out the next month. Yeah, because the finals are in June, July. And the movie comes out in August. The big trailer, final trailer is gonna come out in like a July-ish. month before. Oh, when's the first trailer gonna come out? No, the final trailer. The first trailer is gonna come out like in May or something. Next month, maybe April, May. Yeah, okay. We'll get Man, we'll I get a team. So. This is my prediction. <clears throat> this is my prediction. Word on the street. No, not on the street. It's just a prediction. Um yeah. we'll get a te- we'll get a literally or on street. my street, right down here. We'll get a um we'll get like a teaser, some kind of like whatever, and it'll be like him in the suit or the scarab will be coming out with a little voiceover and the suit will be on his body and then it'll end with like his face and then be or it won't even end with his face. Just go it'll to be, like a pan. It'll like pan up to his neck, and it'll just black out with Blue Beetle or August. Even. It'll be da, 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 it'll da, be da. A, it'll be of Jaime discovering um, the original Blue mm. Beetle, and like Ted and then Korg. like him, yeah, him discovering Ted Korg as he's does, doesn't he die? Rip. I don't think he dies in this one. I don't think he's oh, going okay. to die in this one. Sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> It'll be, Jaime, it'll be of Jaime discovering Ted Korg or disca- discovering the Scarab or however it is they're giving him his powers. And I envision him just like looking down into a crater. And, and it's like a, a blue light blue coming light, A blue light over, coming over Jaime's face. And mm-hmm. that's it. That's the teaser for Blue Beetle in like August. With a, with a voiceover face. from Ted Korg. Yeah, about something about something you don't. This responsibility or so he's putting Lantern but blue. Cindy. He's gonna be like, he's gonna be like, yeah. you got heart. He's gonna be like, you got heart, kid. <laughs> Where are you from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, you've got so heart. You kid. got heart, kid. What's your Wait, name? Like, What's your name? Jaime. Jaime Reyes. And, then, and, Jaime. He's not, and, and then he's gonna open his mouth, and then it's gonna cut to black, and it's gonna say August twenty twenty three. Yeah, something like Blue that. Beetle. Yeah. <laughs> I was James Gunn. <laughs> Why are we so good at this, man? Because we've seen too many movies. Are we? <laughs> We've seen, we have, we, that's part of our, that's our job. That's part of, that's part of the deal. I know, I know. Are you excited for Shazam? Uh, Absolutely not. I'm excited to not watch it. Actually, I lied. There's, 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 I have, can't wait. (laughs) There's, there's a, I actually am, I'm excited for certain things. Megan Good? No. Well, yes, but no. That is a human being. I'm I'm talking about, um, I'm talking about. I want to see. I want to see how this plays out. It looks like shit, but I want to see what they do with it. You know, a lot of right. the, uh, the a lot of the dialogue seems very forced. Like, a lot of the action garbage. seems very forced. Which comedy. is weird. Which is weird to say. Which is very weird to say for a superhero movie. The action feels very forced. You know. You know what I'm what I'm looking forward to the most is the villain in this movie. Vaccine. Helen Mirren. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. Sorry, 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 sorry. Vaccine, I, thought that's how, I thought that's how they finally defeat Shazam <laughs> by, by giving them a vaccine. <laughs> I believe it, honestly. You're not right. wrong. No, that's that's the Gina Carano movie. <laughs> that Zachary Levi's gonna call. He's gonna be Garden. in the Daily Wire Talk movies about now. In a bag, bro. It'd be Gina Carano, Zachary Levi, and Letitia Wright. Then Bright Bart. Please films. take Letitia Wright away from Disney. <laughs> Bright 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 Bart presents. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, for real though. Like it just it's gonna be seem... called it's gonna be called Web of Lies. It's about Anthony Fauci. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! The Fauci heard around the world. Zach Levi is gonna play. Yeah, Zachary Levi is gonna is gonna play Anthony Fauci. It's gonna be a ma- his magnum it's gonna opus. Be called War- it's ma- <laughs> I thought his magnum opus was American Underdog. No, sorry, sorry. Or whatever that is. His I'm magnum say, opus right his, after the yeah, Big that Mama's that House Two movie. character. I, what was he, he in there? Like like Holy fuck! He played yeah. the federal agent. Or I whatever. liked him. He was. I love that movie. He was really good was. in that movie. Now nah, you know. Oh, he, was in- he was also in um. What you call it? He was in Thor. Uh, oh, one and two. Second in each. Yeah. No, sorry, not Thor one and three. Thor two and three. Thor two and three. Two and three. Uh, he got put in Yeah, two and three. No, he was two and three. He was he was Fandral. Yeah, whatever they're fucking called. Fandral. He was Fandral. The green dude, the the Robin. I mean, the Robin Hood, the the swordsman. Did he get recast? Yep. No, no, the guy, the guy from the first Thor got. He, he was, was a recast. He was a. He was the recast. He was he was Fandral Mark two. Fandral version Halo, two. <laughs> For two minutes of screen. Time. That's embarrassing. Hey, he, he was in he, the second one for a little. Yeah, bit. that's what I'm saying. He's the, the second one and the third like, one. He wasn't like a. One. He wasn't. He wasn't like a. Was uh, what's it called? War Machine recast. They got. Uh, they got my boy. Honestly, um, Terrence Howard honestly, out of there, like, and they put yeah. Don Cheadle in. Don Cheadle, look at Don, Don Cheadle, Cheadle. now. It's worth it though. The it was worth right it. Though. I love Don Cheadle too. Yeah, he's good. You, didn't, you, you wouldn't. You wouldn't have wanted an I Iron Man. We have an Iron Man. Hey, man, come on, man. Come on, next time, man. Next time, baby. Last scene <laughs> 11 years ago. <laughs> Boy, they really try to, they really try to, they really try to like work that, work that, uh, that teaser for War Machine. And then they're just like, get him out of here. <laughs> Didn't he want as much money as Robert Downey Jr.? Robert Downey Jr. Bro, he had more, he made more money than, than, uh, than Robert Downey Jr. In the first uh-huh. Iron Man, did he? I don't know. Yeah, he anymore. probably did because Robert Downey Jr. wasn't. I'm like, pretty sure. Completely yeah, rehabbed. He was a bigger name, so why wouldn't they have paid him the same? Who, Terrence Howard? Because he's not the yeah. co-lead or anything. He's just a oh, yeah. secondary character, dog. That's why. If he had his nah, own movie, sure. Marvel I feel like. I feel like. I feel like. I feel like Rhodey had more. Uh, more time in Iron Man two than any other film. Well. Yeah. Yep. Because he was yeah. in the final battle in the in the park. Or Dude, he little, was he was all over um, Iron Man too. He was the he he was the main character. He was all over three too. That's true. Yeah, that's why he wanted. That's why he wanted to get paid more for Iron but Man. But he's too, not he the main. No. He wanted the same amount as Robert Downey Jr. 
He's not the he's not a co lead. I'm a bigger name. I'm a bigger name. I'm part of the reason y'all made as much money on the first no, movie no, than y'all did. Not. No, and I'm he in is the second not. and I'm in the second movie. No, and I'm in the second not. movie more than I am in the first one. No. Hey, get out motherfuckers. Of here. What do you mean? He's got Empire. He's fine. We want with those right. We want Iron Man. It's fine. We want no, Iron Man. Man. He better make a comeback in the multiverse <clears throat> story. He's Come on, man. Iron Man. Yeah, from 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 Earth nineteen ninety nine or whatever they're gonna call it or whatever number. <laughs> Earth one nine one nine one nine. Earth two. Oh no. Nah. Iron Man, Underworld, Underworld, uh, Empire. That's all I'm asking. No, please. <laughs> I, need I, I don't want to see that. Oh, rate rate y'all's hype for Shazam: Fury of the Gods. There is no hype. It's a solid zero out of zero. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Me. Zero out of it's 50. Come, zero out of one hundred. I'm gonna watch it just because I, I like. I'll go to the theater and there won't be anything to watch, and I'll watch that. That's I'll watch Creed three, then I'll go watch Shazam. I'll go rewatch Creed I'll three. Pay for, and then I'll, I'll, I'll pay for Creed three, and then I'll walk into Shazam after I'm done with Creed three. It comes out this weekend. I'm, That's I'm crazy. It comes weekend. out this weekend. We should go see it. We should go see it on opening day and see how many people are in the theater. Like ten, including us. The 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 real DC fans are gonna A be lot. there. <laughs> not me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. No, the real DC fans know what's up. They know what's coming in 2025 when we get our real DC movies. This is no shade to the Flash. Actually, the Flash is going to be. You know what? The, the Flash looks good. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I don't care. It, it does good. look good. I know. I remember when we saw that trailer? The the one at the Super Bowl. I'm not gonna lie. Like the game was great, no. You were hyped, but the trailers really had me on another level. Like the the Guardians trailer was hype as hell. I was mad. But I watched the Flash money trailer. That day. I was so I was so confused. I was like, dude, I yeah, thought this was gonna be money garbage. Game? Who the you one, bet on? Yeah, the ones you we lost. On it was ten dollars better. Why hurt. would you do that? It was ten dollars <laughs> better. <hurt. laughs> nah, we didn't bet on anybody. We should have bet. I should have bet money on Patrick just to get some uh, the parlay. But I was rooting for. Rams, I was rooting for that Houston Patrick. boy, the Houston hero, <laughs> the nemesis, nemesis, our un our unofficial rival. Oh yeah, Graham's nemesis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Rip, Rip Graham. I forgot. I miss him. No, I'm not for real. In, in all honesty, we'll probably just we'll probably just watch um, probably just watch Shazam just to get it out of the way for the sake of watching. So um, we can shit on it more accurately. Time. Yeah, because we got what well, we got this week. We got Shazam this week. Next week is um. The oh now my calendar wants to be broken. <laughs> Sorry. Next week we gotta is have, we gotta have a next next week's we gonna have be a Mando a, episode. Yeah, Mando we got Shazam. Episode. Shazam is coming out this week. <clears throat> um, we're gonna do our Mando episode. Then we have John Wick, which I'm excited for. John Wick Four has getting a lot of high high praise so far. Um, is it? And then we just kind of go from there. But as far as this week, you know, with uh, the Last of Us finishing up, Scream Six, we got our review done, and Shazam's. Meh, Hype, not hype. That's kind of a wrap for keep, today. You keep saying the wrong name. Oh, yeah, sorry, Shit Zam. Zam. So sorry, Luis. There you go. Shit Zam, yeah, thank you. Foolie of the Gods. Foolie. Shit Zam, Ooh. Folly of the Gods. How about that? There you go. There you go. Shit Zam, Failure of the Gods. <laughs> there you go. Another, keep another, going, another keep going. You on fire. I'm cooking, I'm cooking. Yeah, keep cooking. Shit Zam, Fuck Up of the Gods. Okay, okay, one more, one more. That's a good one. one. I'm about to tweet that. Shit, Zam, fuck up of the gods. I like that one. No, Shit, Zam, Folly of the Gods is the best. That's a really good one. We might have to put on a shirt. (laughs) When this movie movie gets a 13 on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. And Zachary Levi makes no more movies ever again in his fucking dog shit life. (laughs) Damn. That man was a big mama's house, too. You show some respect. All right, <laughs> he was in Chuck. He, he was he in did Chuck. It once he can dog. do it again. I can't wait for his next for his next movie. Let's go, Brandon. Oh no, <laughs> will not be watching. <laughs> when he plays a young. No, Joe he's gonna Biden. play Joe Biden's son. Oh yeah, <laughs> they, um, they already made a movie. They were already no, made they, did movie. So they, cool. did. they did it. They did, and it was doo doo. Nah, you know what. Yeah, and, and they don't Gina... make him look anywhere near as cool. No, for real, I don't know why people hate on Gina, uh, Gina Carano. Uh, uh, I don't know why they hate on him, yeah. bro. He's cool as shit. Well, he does cocaine and he fucks hookers, bro. What else? What else do you want? Zachary Levi's from Texas. That tracks. 
Th- yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It's all- oh, no, no, no. no. Really? Hold on, wait. Incorrect. He's born. He was born in uh, Louisiana, but he lives in Texas. He lives in Bastrop. Oh, hell no. Uh, Anyone who moves to Texas on uh, purpose, dangerous. He was born in Lake Charles. Nasty. Fuck. That's why he... Never mind. That makes a lot of sense. Boy, what the hell? He's going to be in Chicken Run? Nah, bro. Uh, oh, wait. He ruined that fucking movie. Chicken Run. Boo. He ruined Chicken Run. Chicken Run goes hard, bro. Can you ruin What is he doing Harold in the Purple Crayon? No, no, no. Time out. Y'all see this? Spy Kids Armageddon? I don't want to know. I don't want to know anything. Is the new one? They're going to make another Spy Kids movie, and he's going to be in it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'll jump off a cliff, bro. Gina Rodriguez is gonna be nah, bro. I don't want it. I don't want nothing to do with it. Narcos, I don't want it. Boy, oh. Pedro. <laughs> oh yeah. Love. It. Now they got my boy from um, Shazam in it. Bastrop, Texas. Where is that? I'm so How far are we? I'm looking through. How far is he from Graham? It's in. It's by Austin. Yeah, it's in Austin. My bad. Shazam. Him? Uh, your boy, your boy Dean Winchester lives there too, Fabio. My goat, Soldier Boy, Jensen Ackles, Soldier, Soldier Boy, Soldier Jensen Boy, Ackles. Jensen Ackles. Ackles. I love, Jensen I Ackles. love Bass, Bass Pro Texas or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I want to go, go live in Bass Pro Texas. <laughs> Matthew lives down there too. Who me? Matthew I don't like Matthew. Oh, I didn't talk about me. I was like, what? I don't live in Bass. I watched Days of Confused recently, and I didn't <laughs> like his character. It was weird. No. What about him? In his, what about him? He said, "Think about that." Is he said? said I get older. High school girls stay the same age. I said, "Whoa!" <laughs> he said, "He said, no. he said yeah." Wait yeah, a minute. He, he said, wait, wait, wait. He said, "Ladies and gentlemen." <laughs> no, <but> that's <laughs> crazy. That is an ins- I would have thought movie. to not have said that line. That is insane. <laughs> Um, Richard, yeah, I know I'm acting. Richard, I know I'm, I know I'm a can placeholder like for you right now, but can we not say that? Can I not say that, That's please? a terrifying line. The, the movie ends Why with him asking him to say that. Date. I said the movie what ends with him you? asking out a high school girl on a date, bro. This shit's insane. Yeah. He's that's like how I feel when I see actors... That's how I feel when I see actors just get excited to be in a Tarantino film where they drop the hard R... Like, oh, also, guys, why are you, why are you, why are you excited to say Jennifer that? Jennifer Lawrence in this new, in this new movie where she plays a critic who That's says crazy. the hard art. Um, uh, to, to all the she Fantastic Four fans, um, y'all should follow my letterbox. Uh-huh. That is E H A B L. <laughs> I have great reviews. If y'all like that joke about uh Quentin Tarantino, y'all gonna love my review of uh Django Unchained. It's a banger. Yeah, thanks. Thank Is that a, like the Django. A the Django. Lisa, you should I can't find repeat that. any of the go lines find from that movie you. on this. I cannot no, repeat. No, that. you can. You're the only you one who can. I, I can. <laughs> I, I can. But for the sake, should I read for the sake of not getting us banned as a, as a promo for my letterbox? I think. What I think we'll let uh we'll let the fans jump on there and check it out for themselves. Damn. As for today, that's a that's a wrap for today's episode. We rap, appreciate rap, rap. Yeah, it's a wrap like a chicken wrap from KFC. <laughs> okay. That was terrible. A chicken wrap from Chick-fil-A. That was also terrible. It's a wrap like a blanket around a baby. Okay. Wrapped up. Ooh, We're done. A wrap like a mummy. <laughs> Hold up. Before we end the episode, I just looked up your 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 review for Django Unchained on Letterboxd. Please, Can I please, read it out loud? Let me read. Yeah, we'll, we'll go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. He says, four stars, great movie. But the fact that Leonardo is scared to say the N-word but not scared of dating children is hilarious. <laughs> so that's the kind of content to expect on him. Make sure to follow me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He said, hold on. He said, yeah, for gentlemen. Got this shit's <laughs> wild. Wait, did he say? Is that a thing he said he was scared? Yeah, of uh, they had to pull him to the side, uh, Samuel Jackson, because he didn't want to say it. And he's like, he's like, he's like, like it's cool. He said, oh, really? the fuck? He's, I don't remember what he said. I'm paraphrasing, but he's like, dude, just fucking say the line. We're all acting. Go. He's like, let's go. Samuel Jackson. I mean, I get his, I get, I get his not oh, wanting yeah. to say it. Like but that other scary. one is also. 
Yeah, but him, yeah. Leonardo, but him Leo not. was probably walking up to Dating. Leo was probably walking up to Samuel like, "Yo, man, do you think I should say? It? I don't think I should say. It. What do you think?" And Samuel was like, "I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing, motherfucker. If you don't say this, <laughs> you don't say this shit, boy. We can pay you. Go." <laughs> yeah. What in in, in his Samuel, old makeup too, Samuel? <laughs> that was a makeup. My boy. They just did it for me. That's why he looked like that. His hair is not white. Do you think? I was gonna say. Do you think uh, Samuel reacted the same way when Quentin was impro- improvised? That shit's wild, that? bro. Uh, that was improvised. I don't know. He's. I'm gonna improvisingly beat, beat his ass. Wouldn't surprise me. I'm gonna improvise improvise his ass whooping, bro. What? <laughs> Quentin Tarantino, bro, come see me. That's a direct challenge. No. Come down to the podcast. I have oh. I have not challenged anyone. You know, I wasn't going to challenge anyone until our toxic episode, but we're going to issue this first challenge. Quentin Tarantino, come see me. Explain yourself, bro. <laughs> to me in the... It was you're lucky we're doing this episode in March. If we did this episode in February, you have to come down. Black History Month, bro. Talk to us. <laughs> Tell me what's going oh, on. Excuse you, you, explain explain before I crucify you on the web, bro. I will. I heard you like feet. Bro, he defended Roman Polanski. That man's oh, not getting canceled. Forget about that. He's not getting canceled. Bro. He defended Roman Polanski. Get out, like it's done. Like that man's. Yeah, that man's not. That man's gonna have a career for the rest of his life. And not until I, not until yeah. I'm through with him. He thinks he's uncancelable. <laughs> I'm the canceller. That's my my superhero name. No, actually, no. He's not unbeatable. I'm the unbeatable. I'm the beatable. <laughs> Y'all want, to, y'all want me to read I'm my the, Rosemary's I'm Baby? The, uh, I'm the beater. Review? The beater upper. <laughs> yeah, what's your Rosemary's uh, Baby review? Oh, God. I could separate the art from the artist, but I don't feel like it. Hope he chokes. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. That was great. I like, nice. I like that. Five is a really good. He, ma- his, he makes me feel really self-conscious about my, my uh, reviews. Here's mine for the social network. Four stars. Autistic man child, the movie. <laughs> um, Let me look up mine. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Here's Texas Chainsaw Massacre, four stars. A mentally deficient product of incest, murdering horny, nosy teens. Yes, please. Hey, yo. I could have sworn that I, I didn't I haven't uh, reviewed social network yet. I need to start my well, I need to start uh, my reviews on Letterbox. Yes, you do. Oh, here I have. A, I'm behind by like ten movies now because I saw Creed three. Citizen Kane, three and a half stars. My review is Citizen <laughs> Kane. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's a movie called Raw. I really like that movie. Three and a half stars. <laughs> Raw. I like my. I like my movie titles. Like I like my. I sex. saw that one. I did not like it. Is, is my review for that? <laughs> you didn't like it, bro. Come oh, on, brother. This uh, is the nice Lego sex. movie. Three That's and a half stars. One, Chris Pratt's only good movie. <laughs> no, <laughs> only Whiplash. Super Mario Bros. Whiplash. Bro. He, made, he made Passengers, bro. Super Mario Bros. Whiplash, Luis. I know this is your your favorite. I know favorite in my heart before. it's good, but I severely dislike Mike Teller's character. Uh, every band kid I've ever Mike? met who thinks he's him. Rest in peace, J.K. Simmons. You would have loved on me, man. <laughs> Here's my Lego movie review. Wow, what world building. It's so bad. That, come on, man. That's good, bro. Uh, any boy said, any oh, Ben Stiller boy said world building. Here's my Get Out review. All right, last one, and then I'm done. My Get Out review, four stars. My only concern about this movie was that the white people weren't scary enough. <laughs> Can I do one more? Jesus Christ. It's not yeah, as you good, go, but yeah, I like go it. it. It's for Snowpiercer. Four stars. I put, we uh-huh. live in a society-ass movie. Still a banger, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I have all my reviews. All Quiet on the Western Front. Turns out it was actually quite loud and chaotic on the Western <laughs> Front. All my reviews. <laughs> All my reviews are right here. I just have to go and copy and paste them and drop them in Letterbox. That's like I got one crazy. for every movie. Literally, this might be the literally goat, ten for. I'm done after this. Also, uh, I'm a my character on Letterbox is by because I think it's funny. So I like I like. Uh, <laughs> oh whoa! You think I, it's yeah, funny? I do. You think being no, queer is, a joke? is just funny to me? 
Cancel me. What? I know. We are going to cancel you. I put... Here's my here's my my all time greatest review. The Baba Duke, three stars. This movie had me Baba shook. <laughs> Fucking That's crazy. fire, I would, bro! Come yeah, on. I would I would keep that one in the drafts, <laughs> big man. No, follow me. Follow me on Letterboxd, Luis Aleman, capital L, capital A. <laughs> fire. Guess who, I'll do one. Guess this movie. Guess this y'all... movie. Mark Wahlberg be a good actor and not racist challenge. Oh, that's Transformers. I know, I know Transformers. That no, uh, Boogie no, Nights. Ted. Boogie Nights. I did. I did say something like that about Boogie oh. Nights too, though. I'll, I'll do. I'll, I, I literally put. I literally put something similar. I put one of the all-time greats. It would be five stars if it weren't for Marky parentheses. I'm an untalented racist piece of shit. Close parentheses. Wahlberg. <laughs> it's God my Sherlock damn. Holmes one. Three stars. He just like me for real. In parentheses, dangerously autistic. <laughs> I'm gonna do. Matt, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna one do one review. I'll let y'all pick which movie though. I have a review for Creed Three, Cocaine Bear, Ant Man and the Wasp, Avatar: The Way of Water, Ant Man, Plane, Megan, Devotion, and Black Adam, and Mortal Kombat. Ant Man, oh, Mortal Ant-Man. Kombat, Ant-Man. Mortal Kombat, the new one, right? Yeah, the new one. The one that came yeah, out uh, last year, two years ago. Yeah, Mortal, the Mortal, Kombat. Kombat. Mortal Kombat. So on Mortal Kombat, and actually when it, I kind of oh. This one I didn't go super in depth, but I put a little breakdown over there. So I said overall rating was an eight out of ten. Score soundtrack was a seven point five out of ten. Script was a seven out of ten. Cast was eight out of ten. What went well? Great use of references to the original game movies. Uh, costume design was fantastic, phenomenal. Stellar lineup of actors, actresses for their respective roles. Um, Mashad Brooks, if y'all seen uh, what's it called, Supergirl? He's in there. He doesn't do shit. <laughs> He's good in this movie. <laughs> um, visuals FX were badass, especially with uh, Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Dialogue at times. Now, what needs work? Dialogue at times was a bit eh. You gotta get a soul Characters stuff. dying way too easily. <clears throat> Could use more characters from the games unless they're saving them for sequels, which now that I know they're making more Mortal Kombat movies, I want to I wanna retract that point because we're going to get all the characters we want to see. So overall, Mortal Kombat... Scorpion, just like me, he fire. He a demon. You know what I'm saying? I'm burning shit up, whooping people's ass disrespectfully. Fabio, I made a I made a uh, uh, review that was basically in the elk of your character uh-huh. letterbox. It was for Ito Mama también. I put two young Mexican men exploring their sexualities with each other and an older woman. Basically, Luis. <laughs> Yo. So, I felt inspired by your, by your her mummy, by your mummy <clears throat> review. My mummy, yeah, well, no, yeah, you, uh, Brendan Fraser and your, uh, your bio awakening, Rachel Vice, Rachel Vice, Lord Rachel Vice. I love. Isn't her. she in uh, uh a Black Widow? Yes, thank that's thank you. Probably, that's probably where you saw her most recently. <clears throat> that, that oh, actually one is more. All right, Lisa, Lisa's doing one more. I'm doing one more. All right, last one, Looper. I want to live in a, I want to live in this world so that I could travel back in time and not have to watch this movie. <laughs> Fire! Thank you, Matthew. I'll do. Five is not giving me anything. What'd you say? You weren't giving me nothing. Uh, you want to hear my Sky one more review? Do you want my Do you want to hear my Skyfall review? Yeah. Where is yeah. it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, do you want to hear my Looper? We've been doing like 20. No, never mind. I'm not going to do yeah. that. Well, it's just me and Ryan Johnson. I might have to change it. Do yeah, you mean I like to Ryan Johnson? Yeah. Like bullying him? What was that my review for Skyfall? Oh, it was another bi character. Um, it said, uh, James Bond confirmed bi. He just liked me for real. <laughs> you keep talking about bi people. You're going for, you finna be bi yourself. <laughs> real, this is my last review i got cocaine bear um go for it only because this is the one i have the lowest rating on actually hold on mm-hmm. yeah cocaine bear has the lowest rating it's tied with black adam's no black adam's beating it by 0.5 that's crazy my cocaine bear review is is absolute fucking dog shit, period. I loved it. That was my <laughs> review for cocaine. So my cocaine bear review says, 
And this is going from the this is as you can see here, there was a breakdown as well. It's God damn. Bro, I was going hard, I was in my I was on my critic shit. I was in my bag. I was talking shit the whole time. Um I said the intro was insane. This film is something. LOL. Why they got kids eating cocaine, bro? Ice Cube Jr. is funny, but his acting is kind of mid in this film. It always this, is. This is <laughs> kind of. This, it's really bad. This is an unserious film. <laughs> then I said, this film is dumb funny. <laughs> then I said, this film does not make any logical sense, but it's a good time. The bear is addicted to cocaine for real. Universal is taking a big risk on this one. LMAO, why the Rangers shoot, bro? The theater is laughing at this for real. Were you taking Stupid. notes? Yeah, as you were I was taking every every time I thought of something, I I wrote something down. I was like, That's "This is crazy. some shit." That's unhinged. Man. So the, the the theater is laughing yeah. at this for real. Stupid, funny. They made this film excessively glory gory for what? Rava's betrayal because yeah. they had hey, nothing else, else to offer. Yeah, Ray Liotta, you know? <laughs> what else do they have? The the betrayal was so random. Uh, what the? They got the bear cubs off that powder too. This is a very it's odd cubs. film for Ray Liotta to be in. Yeah, the film is entirely cliche and predictable. The bear dies, quote unquote, and gets revived by the cocaine. Boy, what the fuck? Happy ending, but like, what the fuck is this film? Overall, this is an insanely unserious film. Gorious can be with a very mediocre storyline. And at the very bottom, I wrote out my actual thoughts. I said, now nah, I've watched many a film in my time, but this... This is something else. We got a fucking black bear off the bricks, off that yayo boy, out terrorizing the whole forest. Off that yayo. What the fuck is going on? What is actually happening right now? The real deal, Cocaine Bear. Cocaine Bear received a five out of ten from me. I couldn't give it a six. Wow. That shit was terrible. I gave it a he, one. He, he like actually does reviews, whereas I just like try to think of the dumbest shit I could say. I'm just fucking around. Like, yeah. no, trust me, all those reviews, off every movie I've written. And he was like me. Like, come on, bro. Every movie I've seen, every movie I've seen, every review is like that. I think my longest one is Avatar. Yeah, that shit is, this is how long the Avatar, like, that shit goes pretty long. So, so we'll, 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 we'll eventually get those posted on, um, Letterboxd. We're gonna try and make a website soon so y'all can read our our thoughts and feelings in our episode <laughs> transcript. You can see everything that goes on in our the inner machinations of our mind. Oh god. Uh on script. I'm scared. But as for today, that's a wrap for today's episode, y'all. We appreciate you guys listening to our channel or watching our channel. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at the Podtastic Four with the number four. To stay tuned to everything coming up this year. Follow us on Instagram as well. I keep forgetting to mention that. We have an Instagram. We have a Twitter. We got a Spoutable now. We got all types of social medias. Uh, Hulk Smash. OnlyFans. We don't have an OnlyFans. I'm, doing that. I'm not doing none of that. I'm doing OnlyFans. Um, I'm doing you want to watch me do drug you're gonna be, builds? You're going to be your, your, you're be your only fan. Boo. Oh, boo. Boo. <laughs> nah for real y'all follow us on all our social media pages at the podtastic four either with the number four or spelled out the podtastic four hulk smash the mf like button show us how much you enjoyed this episode by leaving us a five star review wherever you listen to this podcast send our podcast and youtube channel to your friends enemies family doctor co-workers post in your group chats post on facebook share it everywhere share it to your mom your dad your cat your dog the cat at the bodega. Shout it to the guys and down the street. The Aki way. Feel, Feel me. Get heard. Thank you guys. And we will see you next time on the Podcastic Forum.